this teenager living with albinism is just 16. We will call her Nandi to protect her real identity. Nandi would be sitting her primary leaving examinations this year, hadn't she gotten pregnant and subsequently expelled from school. She accuses her former teacher of getting her pregnant. I had an intimate chat with this young lady who narrated the nasty ordeal she experienced at the hands of a man she trusted. Nandi says she eventually gave in to her teacher's advances to end his persistent demands for sex. She claims the teacher slept with her on several occasions and got her pregnant in one of the encounters. The teacher is reported to have fled after learning that Nandi was pregnant. His whereabouts remain unknown to this day. The news of Nandi's pregnancy saddened her parents. What I was thinking to gain from my daughter, the teacher destroyed him. Many thoughts ran through her parents' minds, but very few offered positive solutions of dealing with her situation. At one point, they even contemplated taking Nandi for an abortion. If she wants to go back to school, I will give with him that her baby. Then she will go with his studies. Her parents say they reported the case to the police, but haven't received any feedback about the suspect's whereabouts many months on. The file was retrieved from the police post and taken to the region for further management. So we are looking at working with the relatives of the victim so that the, we can apprehend the other the suspect. Nandi now stays here with her parents who stopped her from studying after her ordeal. <laughs> We spoke to a senior woman at Nandi's former school about the measures they've taken to bring the suspected defiler to book. We found the parents and we talked to the parents. We told them to talk to, to him and tell him to come to school because we needed to talk to him and find a way of helping this young girl. Cases like Nandi's are quite commonplace in rural parts of the country. The chairperson of the Albino Association in Busoga region blames Nandi's situation to the stereotypes that men hold towards women living with albinism. So far we have recorded three cases. Men still want to find out, is it that the albino ladies are like also other women? In many rural parts of the country, albinos are a marginalized group whose rights are trampled upon by people who hold superstitious beliefs. Gertrude Tumusime Uitkwari, NTV, Boyende District.